feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go So obviously I don't have a perfect circle and I really don't have what I need to get it with a machine so it's manual Just go around and dress it I'm gonna get to run a router around it and round off it surface planer two foot in diameter so that's out but what I do have is a hand planer and I'm not going to take it directly in line with the wood because I think it's going to make the valley so I'm going to just do a slight angle get all these guys level and then this hand and rest it away if it's scrap here to see how deep it's actually cutting get my other glove on working <laughs> That's a little line on there I gotta sand out eventually, but I'm trying to get the high spots off. I just uh, an upgrade here to 60 grit is just not even touching this hardwood. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a little bit more aggressive here with my belt sander. Try to cut <coughs> down to a reasonable level. See how that works. Okay guys, we got some cracks here. Um, I got a little one in the maple, a little one on the seam here, didn't quite close up. So I'm gonna try a little, I don't wanna use any synthetics on the cutting surface, food contact. So uh, I got an idea off of YouTube once from somebody and I'm gonna give it a shot here, hang on. All right, so the trick was, take a little Danish oil, some of your solid dust, mix up a paste, and then rub it into the crack, and it'll dry naturally. I never did this before, so your first time. I'm just gonna make some paste. Coming out kind of dark for maple though. Just have to be on the edge. Okay, so it's next day. And we sand through this. Danish oil and see what we got. Well, the good news is I can't find I can't even find where the cracks were in the darker wood. The uh, Danish oil covered that up pretty good. However, the one in the maple you still can see what I can do about that, but at least it's closed up. So we'll just keep sanding. 
Okay, so the next step is uh, I'm going to round off the edges. I'm going to do both sides and this hole right here. Oh, so here we go. This thing rotates this way. So what we want to do is we want to cut into the material. If I went this way, the uh, bit would just grab it and want to pull the router towards me. a note on um, doing the edges rather than use your hand and uh, not stay perpendicular to the edge. It's more important before I route than now, but I had these flexible pieces of walnut that I cut. What we do is we just put it inside the paper. This is 180. And we're going to go around that way. And by the way, granddaughter, these are your dazzled, our bedazzled safety glasses. Thank you very much. A little burning tool here. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one stopping me now Okay guys, uh, all sanded uh, Just a recap We started with um, my hand planer Then I went to a belt sander Not sure what grid I had Probably at least 60 Then uh, orbital was 60 Orbital with 180. I did it by hand by 100 and orbital by 220. So she's ready to go right now. And uh, we're going to use um, cutting oil. Um, shout out to Paul at Tool Metrics. He, uh, he did a, a comparison of a bunch of oils and uh, he came up uh, with this Howard cutting oil. This is a mineral oil, food grade, so we can use it on a cutting board. And thanks for the information, Paul. You check out the uh, Toolmetrics channel and you guys get a chance. This is Butcher Block Conditioner. So this actually is mineral oil plus got wax. In. This thing is really going to pop with all this wood in here. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm going to be myself. Or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my Alright guys, here's the last step. Um, I've done four coats of the mineral oil, both sides. Uh, it's been drying for a day. And now I'm going to use uh, the Howard conditioner. This is the mineral oil plus wax. And this will be the last protection. I might do two coats, we'll see how it goes. But it should be put on warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a can, heat with my heat gun, get it nice and liquidy. Put it on both sides that are soaked in, and uh, we'll see how it shakes out. So here's what we got. Just the final polishing here. Make sure everything's consistent. And uh, if you're interested in the in the product, I'll put uh, I'll put a link down below. Amazon link. Any questions and comments, uh, I'd be glad to hear them. And um, to my daughter, happy birthday, baby. Hope this stays in the fam a long time. Catch you guys later.